Hello, welcome back to my channel and here I am with another video. On this video, I'll give you a basic idea how you can replace the real uh, window for this uh, 1994 Mustang convertible tab. It is for a 1994, but you can apply the same technique from 1994 to 2004. First, you have to make sure to protect the, protect the paint. Uh, the area where you will working around, just make sure to protect the area. Uh, I made this at a trunk lining. I put some magnet in there just enough to stick to the metal and that way I am protecting this area and I will do the same thing on the driver's side always always do this uh, no matter if the car is old or the car is new so uh, protect the, uh, check the molding because some molding coming with some scratches on them for example this one you can see him on there he have a dent so the customer is aware of this thing I'm going to remove the molding I will show you how you can remove it you might be asking, uh, can you glue it back that area? Yes, I can glue it back. I can put a glue in there, a strong glue, but believe me, it's not going to last for longer. So my best advice for you if you are having this issue is to replace the rear window. I will remove all the nuts that are holding the rear window on the bottom, all that staple that are holding the rear window on the top, and you will see the whole process. Uh, there are some easy things that I will, uh, and I'm going to show you, and I'm pretty sure you will get it. You will need a sta uh, staple puller, a uh, cut plier, you will need a staple gun, a electrical or pneumatic, you will need a st uh, stainless steel staple, 3A, uh, it has to be a stainless steel. You will need uh, this kind of tool, you can use a flat screwdriver, you will need a 12 point socket, uh, one quarter or three A. You will need a ratchet if you're going to do it manually, an extension. And uh, I will use this ratchet. It is a three A, it is from a snap on. It is so efficient on this kind of job. I will need a racing blade and the 20, 20 TX uh, tips. And I will use a screw gun. Plus, I will use a scissor. Uh, what else I will I will need it? I will need a I will need a measuring tape and a chalk. You will see later why measuring tape. It is so important. Oh, you can replace the measuring tape uh, with the ruler. So first, I'm going to remove the molding. You have to open the trunk. Make sure to uh, protect the paint. I open this trunk. And then I have to remove some Phillips screws that are located my right there. You're going to start removing by hand or with the screw gun. Uh, and make sure to don't lose nothing because you have to put everything, everything back. I got this screw out and I have to remove this molding. Just create pressure through outside. And you can see this molding, it is out. Put them on the safe place. And then you have to remove this. But this one, one small screw is holding that part in there. So you have to remove that small, uh, small screw. To do that, you have to put the top open half away. And this way it is easier to do it. On this case, it is a Phillips screwdriver. But on some other case, are TX20 or TX25. I got it right there. And it's not the original screw too. Somebody already installed this top. So you have to remove that material and you can see three clicks are holding that material. You have to remove those metal clicks. And I can see the top is short on that area too. I am not going to replace the top. The top will be the same. So just be extra careful with the top. I am removing the last click. I will do the same thing on the other side. If you see, I put those click on that magnet right there. That way, I'm not moving. I separate the material. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And I'm going to show you exactly how you have to do it. I uh, just show you one side. So now I close the top. And it is time to start removing those nuts from the, uh, behind the seat. You have to unplug first the uh, defroster from the rear window. Uh, don't force it, don't break nothing. And then you see that plastic in there. Uh, remove that plastic. 
dust the boots and make sure to clean it before you uh, put it back. This is easy on this car. There are some other cars that are thin are hard to remove it. And you have to remove all those nuts. All those nuts you have to remove it. I remove this small screw. I didn't show you how, but I'm pretty sure you will get it how to do it. And then you can start removing those nuts. You can do it manually with a small ratchet and a 12 point socket. That is the nut, you can see how it is. And I will start removing the rest with my uh, uh, wireless ratchet. Very, very easy with this tool. You know, if I don't have a wireless, I have to use the power tool and I have to run a hose. Uh, and that is time. This kind of tool is simplify everything. Everything. I can charge this battery and I can easily, easily replace two convertible tap without recharging the battery of this tool. So I got the tap disconnected from the area and you can see it from outside. I am using a shock. I am marking exactly where the edge it is on the top, on the old tap. Why I am marking on the old tap? Because I am not replacing the tap. I mark him on the rear window, but that doesn't matter. I just mark it. It's just, but the most important thing is mark him on the old top. That way you are putting exactly how it was. And I remove the, all the staple that are holding the top. All that staple. Make sure to remove it. So I separate the top from that um, molding. And I do the same thing on the other side. And I pull the top to the outside and you can see and now I am removing that staple on the top bar to remove this staple it is so easy so easy you see that is part of the window except I am this part of the top I will use the same top so I gotta be careful with that part and I remove this area right here see how easy it is my friend and some convertible top that is hard to do it so hard to do especially if the car is old it's classic, but this it is way easier. Remove all the staple, the old staple, remove everything. So I got this glass out, just like that. The glass is out, I'm gonna take it to a table. This is the new window, eh? This is, the brand is Robin. Robin on um, convertible tap. It's not the best, but it's, it is good. I recommend you this brand. All the brand GHHAs are good. See that? rear window on the bottom is coming on two pieces so i am putting those two pieces together with the staple and i am putting even the bottom side it wasn't even but i put even hey check this out guys on on robins the distance from the top to the bottom it is six inches robin brand and some other brand like easy on like uh other brand is six and a quarter or six and a half, six inches and a quarter or six and a half on some other brand. But on this one, it is six inches. I put that lame on there. And right here, how to go right here, inch and a half, then on the end, two inches. Two inches, inch and a half. Very, very important. That way, I don't need the old rear window for padding, nothing at all. Some other uh, convertible tab, it is totally different than this. This is six inches on there. This is way easier. I do this a lot, replacing the rear window or replacing the top, a lot. And not only this brand, Mercedes, BMW, a lot, a lot. This is way easier. Right there, I just cut it. It is way easier to cut it. but I will remove the old material here. So you see, those pieces or metal are attached with one uh, small uh, string of material. That distance from one metal to another one is two fingers. I figure it that way, two fingers. 
on this convertible tab. So I loaded the staple, the staple gun with the staple, and now it is time to staple. The rear window have a center mark, the bar have a center, so I put that center together. Then I pull it to the side, and I am making sure that line is going exactly on the edge of that metal. Exactly. If you put like one quarter of an inch away from that uh, edge, uh, might be a little bit too tight, but we're still okay. I don't recommend you not to do it because you will force it too much the rear window. And I staple all the bottom. Right here, see those pieces are holding well with one string of material. So I do this, making sure all the pieces are even. And I pull it. And you see it, the old one was two fingers longer. This is two fingers short. So, but that doesn't matter. The, the top will be covered apart. I pull this elastic. Okay. Now, after I done staple that part, I am have to make this hole. Don't cut them exactly to the edge. Cut it a quarter of an inch before the edge. Quarter of an inch before that edge. Be careful, don't cut your finger, don't cut your hand. Be careful. There is a hole, I know where the hole it is, and then I just cut it. And I'm making nothing new right here. This is the way how this window it was. This is the way how Mustang can put uh, are. So I done, now I can to the car. You can see that part in there. The, there is the center, so the edge of the vinyl will be exactly with the edge of that bar on this brand. Maybe you will have another brand, a cheapy brand, and you might try to pull in this way, and at the end will come up with a lot of wrinkle. And you might ask him why, and the answer will be you're using a different brand, maybe a cheaper brand and a cheaper brand is not going to work maybe this way. Robin's brand, it is this one. So I put the staple in there. I already hold the rear window on there. Then I'm putting a lot of staple. And not to hold the strong that part. And I will do the same thing on the other side. This material that I will put on there, it is a strong lining. It has something similar, but uh, on Mustang convertible tab, I always this, use this. I put glue. Before, it had glue. But the original tab don't have glue. It only have a staple. I put glue. Then I will put a staple. Making sure to keep that piece of black material in there. And I will do the same thing on the other side. And then I staple the top. That black piece that I am staple belong to the top. Same thing on the other side. It's not way how you can get lost in this part. Not way. If you have follow my instruction and you are using a rubbing top, you are not going to fail. So I done with the staple. Now it is time to put the old top back in there with the staple. Uh, when you are taking my part, if you are not sure that you will able to remember how everything was, so take photo, take video. That might help you at the end in case if you don't remember. So I touch where the edge it is. I put the, the yellow mark exactly on that edge. This is exactly how it was. If I pull it too much, maybe I will uh, 
the window will come up with wrinkle if I don't pull it like how it was the top the old top will be, will be with a lot of wrinkle so right here see two finger I put my two finger on there I know there is there is the space between those two bars two finger then I put one staple then I will pull it right here and I am making sure to that yellow mark it is on the edge of that bar right there and I will do the same thing on the other side I am not going to show you but it will be the same thing so you can see on there I put a staple there are the old hole matching to the hole of that metal so simple so I did the same thing on the other side now it is time to uh, bolt this top so I get inside I just going to put one nut and then I will get the camera and I will show you how you can put that other one why I am not charging you this because uh, that space right there is too small but just remember I pull that area I get one nut and I put it to there and just pull them on the corner and I will get the camera right now and you will see how it is that way you don't have any excuses that I didn't show you that part there and I start pulling all those nuts by hand See? there are all the knots already now it is time to tie don't tie it too much if you are using a electrical ratchet or a ratchet uh, just be careful I recommend you if you don't have experience doing everything by hand this ratchet is not as strong to uh, to break that those uh, nuts. Nah, it's perfect for this kind of job. Perfect. I have the quarter of an inch ratchet and the uh, three a ratchet from a snap on. And this is the part done. Now it is time to put this boot. I already cleaned it. I didn't show you how to clean it. You can see I put dress in there. Armor, I clean it with soap. Then I put armor. Then it is time to put it back. So simple to put it back. You don't have to hold it with the screw. There are some other boots that you have to put a large screw or some snap. This one, no. Make sure to put the uh, connection for the defroster and connect it. and that is connected and same thing on the other side so now it is time to put this molding back uh, put those click just uh, exactly how it was you have to pull, pull the material then hold the material with click and then you have to put the bar uh, the molding and then you put uh, hold the molding with the Phillips screw then for last you have to put this molding open the trunk make sure to line up both molding and then start pulling those screw When you're done putting everything back, make sure to open all the way and close it. Uh, when you do this, you are making sure the top is correctly. Uh, you put the window correctly. Because if you didn't put correctly, when you open all the way, you might break the glass. But it is, it is correct. It's not a way how you can fail. No way. So I close this and I just, that is done. If it at the end you will see a small wrinkle, make sure to put the hot air or hot water, uh, or if you have a steamer, put the steamer. But in this case, it didn't need it. This brand, it is Robin's brand. It's good top. Not the best, but it is good. 
if you are using a cheapy brand those brands that you can buy the top in the rear window for $99 if you are using that kind of brand and you follow my instruction there will be a big chance that you will fail never use a cheap brand on convertible tab I would say easy on is okay a Robin is good and there are a lot of brand a lot of brand that you can use so um this video it is just an idea so thank you my friend for watching this video if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button and a comment leave it in the comment section on this video and uh, thank you so much see you soon in another video have a wonderful time